thing that burned in my memory most is the day they finally got a roster from Washington and lined us up and called the roll. The deafening silence when there was no answer. And that happened for a thousand or so men. They weren't there anymore. They were. It, the impact of it really hit hard when you knew how many we had lost. We knew how many in our little group of 20, we, we lost uh, 12. So we knew what had happened a little bit. Nobody gave us any details until later. They would fly in formation and they would peel off and attack and then they would regroup afterwards, which is what most of the, uh, the uh, planes did except for Major Dockerman. He broke away from the formation and um, decided to make his own personal attack, which I guess in a way was a, a violation of orders right there, but uh, he, he uh, just simply said he wanted uh, to have a hit. At that time, Roosevelt, Churchill, and Chiang Kai-shek were meeting in Cairo, and they were notified immediately of the attack. And through their uh, counseling one another, it was determined that that would be top secret security. Uh, don't let anybody talk about it. Well, the, the troop commander got us all together and said, uh, this whole incident is classified secret and you're not to talk about it to anybody. Sworn to secrecy, you know, you don't, don't tell anyone. If you were to write home about it, you would be subject to court-martial. 